All right, you guys, it is Mira, it is Shiva, it is Vera. I am back in the building one time for the one time. Yes, indeed, to let you guys know what their true intentions are. Everybody knows deep down in your heart when you meet someone, you think that they like them and you think that they're feeling you the way that you're feeling them. And sometimes you just, it's like you really just don't know. You know what you feel and maybe what you feel may keep be misconstruing what you think you're receiving. So like we're trying to get down to the tea. We got some tea leaf cards out here. As y'all know, I got me a brand new tea leaf deck shout out to everybody that has been booking personal private readings shout out to everybody that's been sending love and support through the amazon wish list i appreciate all of you guys shout out to all of the cash app and um paypal donations because honey i got me a list of some cards that i want to get out of etsy so i appreciate all of the love and support y'all we're gonna get into this and if y'all want to book a personal private reading with me Instagram, message me on Instagram or email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com. But the easiest way to get to me is um, check the description or the about tab on my YouTube page and send me a message on Instagram. And I got you, Booski. All right, so let's get into this. So, what's their intentions? We got group number one with this stone right here. All right. Hopefully y'all check the thumbnail out. But group number one is this thumbnail. This thumbnail. This <laughs> crystal right here. Group number two is this crystal. Group number three is this crystal. All right. So let me kind of take you. These are like the chakra stones. So. This is representative by the um, sacral chakra. This group number one is sacral chakra. This is a sacral chakra group. Group number one, sacral chakra. Group number two is the heart chakra. And group number three is the throat chakra. The throat chakra. Okay. So let's get into this, you guys. Let's say a quick prayer. Father God, hold on. Let's ring the bell. Come on. Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here collectively. I thank you so much for allowing us just to have some time for us to all come together. We've been um, fluctuating and just flourishing during this time, Father God. We've just been stepping into like a whole lot of new doors, Father God. So, you know, with all of these new energies and these new people that we've meeting and everything, we want to learn and we want to make sure that we are using our discernment to understand people's true intentions and even if we're unsure father god we know how to tap in with you and ask for a little bit of guidance so today is going to be a deep dive we got some thick piles here so father god please be with us and help everyone that comes to this video um pick the power that is truly going to give them the message that they need to receive today and father and father in your name jesus Amen, amen, and amen. Okay, we ain't, we ain't about to start getting tongue tied. Hold on, where's my lapis? Uh uh. Mm -mm. Come on, Jesus. Mm -mm. No, ma'am. No, ma'am, Miss Pam. We is not going to start with the tongue twisters. We is not going to do it. We got too much to get into today. So, group number one, group number one, let's have some fun, all right? If you picked the sacral chakra group, this is your reading. So, let's get into this, you guys. All right. Let's see what this person's true intentions is. So these are like the little juicy cards and stuff. We're going to save these bad boys for later. We're going to put these right on over here. We're going to get into the T first. So number one, we have the stork. News of a birth or a new business opportunity. Okay, you got the, the stork. All right. You know, that represents pregnancy for a lot of people. So Okay. Trying to look, trying to stand tall up in the pussy. Hold on, come on now. All right, I'm gonna have to make this an 18 plus. We probably starting off all wrong already. Okay, hold on, talking about making you pregnant. God damn. Okay, hold on. Oh, we got the vase. We got a secret admirer. Okay, okay. I am reloaded. You got a secret admirer that's thinking about listen, making some new creations with you, either in business or in your belly, girl. Hold on. You don't need no KY jelly. Or have it in business in your belly without the KY jelly, girl. Look, he said, ooh. This Udi got the fire, some strong emotions, passionate love or hate. Mmm. Got that strong. 
Looks like you got that scrum. You got the knot. Unsuccessful plans. Whoa. I got to be unsuccessful. But the boot is saying increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. Mm. And you got the handshakes. Meeting with a stranger could be important. All right now. So this person's intentions, just off the off the bat, it seems like they kind of like maybe they tried to tie the knot before and they had some unsuccessful plans. They did not succeed in what they were trying to create previously. So the intentions with you, with this secret admirer card, and this fire, some strong emotions. Oh yeah, this person got some hot, deep, fiery thoughts and things that they want to create with you and possibly in you, girl. Because I told you, listen, you don't start it off with the stalk. Someone trying to stand tall up in your pussy. Girl, uh-uh, girl. You better use a condom, girl. Because I'm trying to tell you, listen, you meeting a new person. It may change your life for the good and the better and the wetter, girl. Hello, hello. <laughs> okay. I am reloaded. Listen, whoever this is, listen. Whatever they was doing before, they may not have had success in tying that knot. But, honey, they said it ain't nothing but a little bit of extra elbow grease and a, and, a, and a little more effort to bring some successful notations to your plan oh baby they about to walk right on into your life honey come on hello so this person's intention seems to be successful okay and if i'm getting tired the knot and having a child in business they might want to create a business baby with you who knows who knows Ooh, girl you got the five of wands someone said hold on Look, halt who goes there okay halt who goes and look you asking questions you not just let anybody just in like that you are very particular about your sticular okay girl you was very particular about your sticular look everybody just about to be sticking and dipping and tripping over here where's your credentials are you even qualified to be hanging around over here bitch i got questions okay and don't take it no type of way don't you know no, I, I ain't trying to be too pushy or nothing like that but bitch don't push me okay i'm gonna let you know don't push me okay that's why i got prerequisites i gotta check you out before i can decide if i really want to allow you over here or not okay all right okay is that a problem no all right, sit down over there and take your number, and I'll be with you in about 5 to 15, God damn it! Listen, you got the lovers. You got a lot of choices in love. This person is very smitten. Look, they are a smitten kitten with you. And it's something about your not willingness to just, like, jump at the first thing that bats their eye at you. It turns them on. I feel like you're feisty. Like, you give this person a fight, you know? Like, you ain't just easy you know you're not easy at all so this person likes that you it's like you intensify their testosterone level you make them like step into their male ego their male pride like goddamn like this bitch ain't about to give me this pussy like damn what i got to do to get the pussy this bitch really ain't about to let me in no like where's your credentials <laughs> where's your credentials again it's like the lovers is a choice it's about a connection so it's like I'm not truly just trying to engage and get to know just anybody I want a true connection something that's going to last a long time and forever so no I'm not just interested in anything I'm not open to anything that would come to me that would uh, eventually bring conflict and confusion in my life. So, no, I check references. I definitely check references. I check to see where you come from and where the fuck it is that you think that you're going. Okay? Because wherever the fuck you think you're going, if you if it's coming with any goddamn car, uh, karma and conflict, you, you damn sure ain't going to be going there with me. You surely will not be going there with group number fucker one with they got them uh <laughs> okay with they cycle chakra they cycle chakra say baby i feel that shit all up in my belly that's all about your feelings okay i know what i want i know what my feelings are and i know how you going to 
affect my emotions and I know what my needs are. So like if you are not um again, like I said, if you're not equipped, if your credentials and and, and and your background check don't come right, you will not be coming the fuck over here. I don't give a fuck how much you like me, goddamn. I like me. You know what I'm saying? So it's something about your feistiness and just like maybe they were trying to like link up with you just it just your unwillingness to just jump at it because like maybe a lot of people just be on this person like you know they, they it's just easy like they they have easy accomplices you know what i'm saying like you like no 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 motherfucker no all right so you got the envelope here so Mm-hmm. There will be some communication coming very soon. So if you have not like really had this person blatantly express what their intentions are for you, they're definitely going to let you know. With this love of card, they're extremely interested in you. They are really, really interested in you. And like this says, this is a surprise. So things are unfolding. So this person, and again, like you said, a secret admirer. So this could be someone, I, and then I'm honestly getting like, why am I getting right now? It's like social media. I'm getting social media. Like someone could have like watched you before they approached you. They could have seen other people having so many unsuccessful attempts at trying to flirt with you, especially like online. And they're like, no, when I actually meet this person, when I actually cross paths with this person, especially if you have not met this person physically yet like y'all could have just like had some like little in the chat like y'all could have had like some communication in the chat or something but i don't think this person knows you knows you and again it's like you are so feisty with your shit like you don't be with the shit like no i'm not with the shit but this chance meeting with a stranger could be very important and again they want when this does unfold they want it to last forever true connection and they know you want a true connection that's why you're not just letting anybody in there okay so your crystal that you got in this group is fluorite it says organize clear and pop oh, jesus jesus Okay, hold on. Let me hold on to it tightly, okay? Hold on. This my, this motherfucker said, let me hold on to you tightly before you just go jumping out of nigga hands and shit. Okay, fluoride. It says, org, organize, organization, clear, priority. Structure can provide freedom. And fluoride helps organize your life from top to bottom. Highlight and focus and release an unnecessary stress. Fluoride assists with bringing clarity into your life, lifting the mental capabilities for crystal clear intentions and empowering decision making. By taking your bad influences and psychic manipulation. Oh shit, I done skipped. Hold on, hold on. By taking your discernment up a notch, fluoride protects you against bad influences and psychic manipulation. Fluorite both grounds and lifts your energy, connecting your body to the earth and to higher spiritual awareness at the same time. Prioritize and balance. This is the sign of Capricorn and Pisces and the planet of Mercury. Again, this is fluorite. Brings an organization. What does it say? Clear priorities. Mm. I just heard it's like some major shifts coming into your life. Things are going up for you. So, in regards to who you are and what you want, it's like, I, I, I shall not be defeated. It's like, I know what I want. And again, that's why you're setting, like, strong boundaries. It's not even that you're trying to be argumentative or just, like, come off like a bully or nothing like that. But just, like, I don't engage with just everybody that crossed my path so like it's not that i'm being bougie or anything but like again can you afford to sit with me i'm not even trying to be shady but like listen it is what the fuck it ti is and okay and these are the cards that you got so in regards to this person's intentions you have the empathy card 
you got the empathy card man you got the two of pentacles <laughs> you have the page of pentacles but look at this motherfucker Look at this motherfucker. See, this is why you be acting like that. Because people be up to no good. You be trying to know people's true intentions. Because the Page of Pentacles is about, like, have you truly learned from your past mistakes? Have you truly educated? Do you have a firm foundation? Or are you just willing to go with just anything that people want to do and bring to you? You know what I'm saying? Just... Because you appreciate their time. Because Pentacles represents time and value to me. And this did come out in the reverse. So basically what this is basically telling me is like. Wait and then what's this other one? It's the Four of Pentacles. So this person is like they don't want to miss an opportunity with you. I feel like see, this group is like. I don't, I don't want to say it's like you're shell shocked. But you have firm boundaries placed up. And this person has empathy from, for you because I don't know if maybe you've expressed certain things about your background, your previous dating experiences, things that you've gone through in your past, which is the reason why you have your wall up. And they feel a certain way about that because they just like, damn, like so many different people have just like shown this person who's such a beautiful person, like the darker side of you know life like she she's seen nothing but just like pain and manipulation and abuse and just like fucking treachery that she don't even believe what love is like it's it's like would she even be in a place where i can get her to a point where she would uh, receive it it's like i would almost have to trick her because it's like it's i don't even think that she believes it's true And again, because this came out in the reverse, I feel like this is someone that um, is almost scared to go and take a look for their self. Like they'll, instead of them going to go do their own research and study, like they'll go on YouTube and take some online free YouTube classes on how to be an engineer and want to walk around and call themselves an engineer instead of going to school and getting certification it's like you want to find out about something second hand and allowing it to scare the whole fucking shit out of you instead of you doing the research for yourself I hope I'm making sense in what I'm saying because it's like this person doesn't want to be rejected this time because you see how she's saying like please go that way like I'm not open to it's like you're very sober I don't it's like you don't want it. It's like you don't want to be too intoxicated. So it's like, I want to say it's like something about someone's outward appearance that they feel like will remind you of something else or something in the past. You know what I'm saying? I just heard an adulterer. Okay, so again, it's like with this two of pentacles, I don't know why I'm feeling like someone, oh, I want to say someone met someone at a bus stop. And it was like, only thing that they would focus on was work. Like whoever this is, it's like very focused on their priorities. Like they have, I'm getting like a fixed sign energy. I'm getting like an Aquarius, uh, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus energy, like a very fixed personality like they wake up they have the same routine they shit shower shave brush their teeth they go get the same breakfast every morning they get on the same bus and they just mind their business and do they ate and be great and go to fuck home and it's like I want to say someone kind of came and interrupted someone's flow and they're well aware of someone's past and why they are just like uh almost mechanical and it's like before you even do your research to find out if a connection is real or whatever it's like it's like an automatic 
rejection automatic block but this person is like nah because i don't watch it i don't study you i don't see how you be popping off on people and everything and this i want to say like don't feel it no don't feel no type of way but it's like they almost feel sorry for you because it's like you like you're frightened to let someone in like you don't believe love is real but it's like you're going to be successful this time. Like, regardless of all of these other fools and jerks, jerks, they just didn't know how to approach you. It's like they're trying to approach you, trying to manipulate you and play games with you and come off too strong. Like, you know, ladies, you know, like how dudes will try to flirt with you, but they be putting on too much. Like, oh, you're so beautiful. You're like, I appreciate all of that stuff. But sometimes it'd be too much instead of you just being natural. Like, that's more appreciative. Like, let me see your true personality instead of you trying to dote on me so much that hey, the fog is so thick I can't even see who you truly are outside of you just trying to fluff my head up with, you know. <laughs> so let's get into this, y'all. But this person does not want to. He does, he's, he does not or she does not and will not be the next fool being sent away. Like. You're not going to overlook them. You're not going to reject them this time. I don't know if they try to come at you before. But again, I'm getting a page of pentacles. So, they might have... This could have been someone that totally came at you with the wrong fucking approach. Because they're like literally having to look at you from the sidelines. And I want to say it's like almost like, damn, she's still single. Like, she hasn't found someone yet. I want to say, like, you guys put your head down. You're buried in your work. You just focus on what you're supposed to do. Like, you don't accept something about y'all. Y'all not tripping on, like, no relationship. So, let's find out what's really the tea here. Okay? Let's find out what their true intentions here. All right? It sounds like from right now is to kind of surprise you. Communicate with you. Make sure the communication is thorough and will be receptive and not rejected. That's what it seems like for right now. It says a dreamer. I know this person is my soulmate. So this person, look, is already, look, they already know. You the one, baby. You are the one. It says your kisses are mesmerizing. It says kiss me. So they're already fantasizing about your lips, what it would feel like. All right. Because I definitely don't feel like you're in a relationship with this person. I don't feel like whoever this is, this group one, I don't think that you're with this person. This person is trying to get to you. It says no one can outshine you. Alright. They want you to be their writer. It says confession. I have so many people interested in me right now. Alright, so they got a lot of people on their line. Alright. It says I'm cool on this argument. Uh oh, what happened? Hold on. It says, uh, today something happened to change the way I feel. And the last card is yes, this one is your soulmate. Alright. So again, I want to say, why do I keep like you meeting this person at a bus stop, but you just meeting this person like randomly. I really do feel like you meet this person randomly, especially with this being my writer. It's like I want to say like you travel or commute together, especially like if you guys take public transportation, like you guys ride the train together. So this could be someone that be like watching you, has been peeping you out. They love your lipstick. They love your lip gloss. Like your lips always be well moisturized. They look very suckable and you look very fuckable. They may, especially if they don't know you like that. I want to say they may approach you with a business opportunity. I mean, y'all might have a business baby together. It's like, no way do I keep bumping into this same person all of the time. And I'm not about to be scared to talk to her. It's like, I'm about to fuck around and just talk to her. But it's like, they have so many people. And again, I told you, like, the lovers is here. So this is like someone having, like, a choice and an option. 
And it's like you have a lot of choices and options too. But it's like everyone is being rejected. But they, they're not, they, they, they want this interaction when you finally meet each other, you finally shake hands. They want you to see and without a doubt that you guys met each other for a divine purpose and a divine reason. It's like God brought you, you know, together. It's like regardless of all of these people that's on their line, nobody can outshine this person that they haven't even been with yet. I don't know. It's like somehow it's like this person has some level of empathy for you. It's like why are you still single? It's like why are you haven't been in a relationship yet? It's like why do you have such a, a a heavy guard up? Like why do you have this guard up like that? It's like this person almost feels bad that whoever put you through this situation put you through this situation because it's like you almost... Don't let he, let no one in to the point where it's like you almost going to block your blessing. Because there's more to life than just like your regular routine and you just being single. And with this two of pentacles, it's like, it's like you're so focused on just keeping your life and everything afloat. It's like you really just don't want anything to make you fall off track or fall off kilter it's like you almost think like a relationship or something is a distraction and it really shouldn't be you know what I'm saying so it's like hopefully you guys will be receptive to it but that's this person's intentions is approaching you and not being rejected like the rest okay so hopefully this will be a pleasant surprise and they won't have to do all of that trickery and you know manipulation like I feel like they've learned from how other people have come to you and been rejected so it's like no they did like mm -mm. we ain't about to send me away god damn it the fuck all right so let's see group number two group number two what it do my heart chakra group let's find out what your person's intentions are are. So if you picked this stone, this pile right here, it's a thick sucker too. If you picked this group, this is your person's intentions. Let's get into the tea. We're going to put the juicy cards over here. All right. Let's get into the tea. Okay, the first thing I'm seeing right off the back, I'm seeing a three of pentacle and a five of swords. Whoa. All right, so let me see what else we got going on before I just start running my damn mouth. Let me see. We got the diamond. And the diamond says, you'll be receiving a precious gift. You got the diamond. You got the cat. A two-faced friend. I knew that five of fucking swords, bitch. Uh-uh. Don't trust that hoe. Don't trust these niggas. Don't trust these bitches, okay? All right, it says be care, be beware of great pride. A peacock. Hmm. It says V, victory in some endeavor. A flag. Don't be tempted to lower your standards, goddammit. What's going on here? Come on, y'all. Give me the tea. Ooh! And why the big tea leaf card is the fucking snake. Oh my god. They, this shit got you wrapped up. It says desire and attraction. Wowzers. Uh, wowzers. What was the other? The envelope. Whoa. Whoa, ski. A two faced friend, the snake. Whoa. You want to have victory in some endeavor. Do not lower your standards. The three of pentacles. The five of swords, bitch. You got May. The month of May. Child, you got the ram. A stubborn and aggressive person. Bitch. 
and then you got the dog close up pleasure with a close up friend yo so like this is not even giving me no love situations this is telling me that this five of swords here someone is really up to no good someone is not playing fairly I want to say I'm getting jealousy. Why well, I feel like you guys, I don't want to say like boastful, but you guys are just like very unashamed of all of your blessings. Like you look good, you smell good, you got a well-paying job, you're successful. Um, the people around you love you. They take good care of you. And I really do feel like there's someone around you that is jealous. You got a two-faced friend here. The tea is coming out right now about somebody's two-faced ass friend. What is all of this going on outside my dome now? Huh. Okay. Something is going on about somebody's two-faced friend. You're receiving victory and acknowledgement in some area. And you've been receiving like a lot of gifts. A whole bunch of trinkets or just... You just been being rewarded and someone don't like that. I feel like behind your back, it's like you created an enemy going forward just because someone can't fucking take you. And don't ever lower your fucking standards. Don't be tempted to lower your standards just because another motherfucker is not willing to put in the hard work. Look, this is hard work. So you could have got a new job or something. Why do I feel like it's like someone just got a new job and it's like employment or just matters of the home and like matters of the home and you being able to like financially take care of yourself and um, how things come to you. It just like comes so easily and for this other person they feel like things it's like a harder way around for them. And it's like they're jealous. They don't understand. But it's like you're so wrapped up and tied up with this person. I don't even think you see this person for who they are. They're a very stubborn and arrogant ass motherfucking person. And they want you to be aware of... Something is going to happen in May. And again, it is clocking that this is a close up friend. Someone may be plotting some vindictive ass shit behind your back. Or again, I want to say like someone may be about to leak some information about you. Like something that you... It's, it, it was nobody's business for them to know. This is like someone about to stab you in the back. Because it's like they're jealous of all the success. And like another blessing coming to you. So I want to say group two. If it's... Because you're about to get another fucking gift. Like, you're about to be rewarded. Like, they, it's something else that is about to come to you that's about to be shoved in their fucking face. And they're not going to fucking like it. Because you're about to receive victory in another fucking area. Like, you're about to get another fucking blessing. And again, that's why Spirit is preparing you and just saying, beware of great pride. I know you want. And it, but it's like, don't lower don't be tempted to lower your standards for nobody. Like, again, if you want to put your shit on, bitch, put your shit on. But don't call this person while you in the mall shopping and be like, hey, bitch, what you doing? Da -da 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 -da. Like, this bitch hates that shit because they can't go shopping like that. They don't call you when they shopping. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, I don't know. They, they feel almost as if you being arrogant and rubbing your success in their face while they're failing. And it's like you're almost so naive that you don't even see what you're doing and how it affects this person and their feelings. But you, I just feel like you're just focused on your work and moving forward. You're too busy learning new crafts and new things. Like it's like I, I'm always busy like and you stay busy. And whoever this is, I want to say that they feel like sometimes you don't have time for them. But you're, you're busy. And that's why you're so successful like this because you stay fucking busy all the fucking time. Well, I don't want to say, like, let me get some more information about what the fuck is going on. 
this crystal that you got was it I'm sorry you guys it's my um kid coming home from school so you got the Amtrine crystal it says it's energetic intuitive and connective the combination of amb amethyst and citrine Amtrine opens the pathways between the physical realm and the spiritual realm with the sunny disposition this stone can alleviate stress during challenging life transitions with the ability to go beyond parts of us to the light healing deep wounds and trauma by confronting them directly amitrine encourages you to hop into the driver's seat and take control over your life aiding your discernment and clarity Amtrine gives you the confidence to take the lead. This is the sun sign of Leah of Libra, the planets of Jupiter, Neptune, and Pluto. Okay, so y'all, I'm sorry, they just gonna have to because I cannot stop recording. So let's see, what do we have here? So we have dreams. We have dreams. We have the six of cups and the two of wands in reverse. I really don't want to read no reversals right now. But you have the six of cups and the two of wands. So this is someone that, um, this is someone from your past. This is a friend, a childhood friend. And we already said that this is a friend. But this is someone that I feel like, they felt like they would have, gotten farther in life than you have like they go back and look at old pictures and shit i want to say like maybe if y'all when y'all were kids and it's like you used to be the bama you know what i'm saying like you, they were the ones that had the clothes and had the cute boyfriend and was like the more popular one and it's like i want to say you just grew up and blossomed into like god fucking damn it <sighs> all right you guys I am back. I am so sorry for that interruption. Let me get my feng shui going back on. You know what I'm saying? People are interrupting the G, you know. I'm trying to work, you know. We're trying to get into this tea. We are really trying to get into this tea. So, where we left off, I feel like, again, I was trying to tell you that you need to detach from somebody that's a fake friend. I feel like this person is a little bit envious again of your successes. Um, you see how right up here we got the three of pentacles, like your hard work and things are coming your way. That seemed to be taking a long time. You see how this person has some little candle magic, something, something going on over there with the three candles and the turtle. Like things are just moving extremely slow for this person. So this person has been like dreaming and trying to manifest a different glory because we don't know her story you know because she wants her life to mirror something a little bit like you she wants to have your victories she wants to have you know your accolades your diamonds the things that you walk around like this person feels like they should be the one on the receiving end of that I believe I was saying something to the extent of y'all's childhood it's like some type of childhood memories or something this person looks back at y'all's childhood pictures and things and this person felt like you were the Bama and they were the more popular one they were the one that um had the nicer clothes like you were the one that kind of had the more struggle to success story you know whereas though they just had like a marginal ass fucking life. You know what I'm saying? Like they may look a little bit better, had hotter clothes when they were in high school or in college or whatever. But since then, what really have you done with your life would be marginal at best. So it's like this person is extremely jealous. 
extremely jealous, you guys. So, mm -mm. I definitely see new connections, new doors opening. That's the two of wands. So, you are definitely moving ahead knowing that the best is yet to come. And it's like you kind of wear that on your shoulders. You kind of wear it like a badge of honor. Like knowing that you haven't even received not even the tip of where you're going. You know it. It's only going to get better from here. And this person feels some type of damn way about that shit. They most definitely feel some way about that shit. I'm sorry, you guys. Let me turn this off. Because it's about to irritate the hell out of me. Hopefully it's off. So we got the sun. And then we got the page of swords. So, again, I'm seeing a lot of positive energy right here. A lot of happiness. I see a lot of transformation with that sun. I'm definitely getting that phoenix energy. Like you were like soaring high. Ah! Hold on. You're soaring high. I feel like in regards to that page of swords information right there. Like there's open ended communication on both ends. You are enjoying your music. Like you are just enjoying your life. Like I feel like a lot of intuitive downloads are coming to you. So you're getting a, a lot of messages, a lot of downloads to you. And it's like you're just enjoying your life and the spiritual frequency that you've been on. I don't know. I kind of feel like you kind of can't be fucked with a little bit. People have been watching you. They have been admiring you. Because you just seem happy as shit. You just really seem happy as shit. You bring a lot of warmth. A lot of joy in people's life. It's like as soon as you come around. A lot of other motherfuckers end up smiling. And it bothers the shit out of this person. Like why? Did it, it like, it, like this person is extremely envious of you. And they're very close to you. I don't even think that you realize. Like how closely wrapped up you are. With this individual. That feels this fucking way about you. So like. I don't know if someone came to this group right here trying to find out what someone's intentions was in love, but I think you need to, God is trying to point out someone else's intentions. Because while love and financial blessings and other things, and just your overall general happiness is coming to you, baby, it is pissing the fuck off somebody that is extremely close to you. And it's like you don't really want to have those type of people around. You know, and I don't even think that you realize that you just expressing yourself and your happiness and like even telling this person about your new job and you learning new skills. And it's like you you may catch on to learning things quicker than the average bear, like especially like if it's like a TikTok dash or something like that, you could just watch that video three times and you'll get up and you could just have it, you know, like you'll just have it down packed like. You've been practicing this shit for weeks and literally you never even tried to do the dance before. You just seen them. You just watched them do it a few times. You just got up and you just banged that shit like you originated the dance yourself. And it just irritates the fuck out of this person. So let's get into like the relationship, the like TT messages to see like what the intentions are about intimate partners that are around you right now especially that could be possibly making this person jealous so this one says smile remember about how far you have come remember about how far you have come so like regardless of because I even feel like this could be someone from your past. Because again, this is someone that you have like a lot of history with. A lot of history with. They may always be looking at, looking back, talking about old oh, shell. Yeah, remember back, like trying to re remind you of where you came from. Yeah, I remember where I came from, bitch, but I'm not there no more. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm soaring. The sun is shining around me. Like, everything is good on this end. So... Especially like if we were doing a yes or no reading, like this is a big yes card, girl. 
What you mean? Like this is a big yes card. Like the it, <laughs> with the um the page of, of of swords. Hell yeah, that's that's like a yes. Big communication about open truth. Like very transparent. <laughs> so it's just like mm -mm. remember where you came from. Don't ever forget where you came from and smile. Don't let nobody else's vision of you, their hate, their envy, their jealousy, don't let that shit bother you at all. Then it says, warning, she's crazy. Y'all, it says, you make my wildest dreams come true. So there's somebody in your energy that is, you know... Ooh, this child, this energy right here. It says your love life is all over the place. Take control. Mm, mm, mm. Now let me put that shit over here, honey. It says, yes, this relationship is just for fun. So enjoy it. It says, hope you feel the same way too. It says, you are overreacting. Chill the fuck out. Yo. Somebody has like a big fucking problem right here. Okay. It said, they want to give you gifts. Remember I was saying something earlier about someone giving you gifts and things and, and someone on the outside looking in is jealous. Because it just seems like everything be working out for you. Especially like a lot of new things come to you quickly. Like especially if it's a job or like say it could even be someone that you're interested. Somebody that you want. You could just wake up and be like, oh man, I was dreaming about this. And then next thing you know, the dream no fucking came through. It, it, <laughs> it irritates the shit out of this person. Look. Then this one says, can I come, um, can I come see you again? So let me put this all together, these little messages. So again, we have a two-faced friend. God is reminding you to beware of great pride. Don't be too boasty in front of this person because this person is a stubborn and aggressive person they are jealous they feel like you are too colorful you be too fucking happy you are too blessed for them okay don't be tempted to lower your standards though still be you still live on your plateau and the threshold that you deserve to be on but again like remember you are wrapped up with a snake. So the more and more that you seem happy, the more and more this person who is very close up. Remember they said it was a friend. Remember they said that they're irritated because of all these gifts and blessings that you be getting. So listen. The fact that you have someone that, you know, you make their wildest dreams come true and God makes your wildest dreams come true and you being gifted and blessed blessed and the person that's around you that's interested in you wants to take care of you and they're always buying you things they're always taking you out they're always giving you the most they're doing the most for you it is aggravating someone and again God is warning you this bitch is crazy okay like this bitch could be trying to like bring up old past shit and yeah you remember you smile all the time because you remember you you're very aware of where you came from but at the at the same time this girl could be trying to bring up things to you like oh your love life is out of control because the person that you fucking with right now they don't want no relationship with you it's just for fun yeah you know that and that's the difference between you and this person because you know how to just be in the moment and enjoy and experience life and have fucking fun, you know? But again, this person is taking shit too serious. And again, that's why you keep telling us you need to chill the fuck out. You're taking shit way too seriously. You are overreacting. So, like, this friend of yours, 
could catch attitudes and overreact about shit going on in your love life that you don't even give a fuck about and you ain't even tripping on. Because you know how to play your part. You know not to overinvest yourself. You know when it's real and when it's not. And you know when it's just fun and to just enjoy yourself. And you know how to hold them and you know when to fold them. This person is mad because you got someone that's consistently eyeing you and wanting to see you again. And they hope that you feel the same way too. And you do. But right now, y'all are just, listen, yes, this relationship is just for fun, so just enjoy it. And that's what y'all are doing until things develop into something more. Like, there's no pressure. But I can't, I don't want to feel like I am keep repeating myself because I'm about to go to the next group. But there's somebody around y'all that's, like, hating on y'all. And again, this bitch is crazy. She has emotional issues she has self-esteem issues and shit like that instead of this girl getting up and doing something and trying to accomplish what it is that she feels like you have she'll rather sit there and be as close and up up your ass as she could be <laughs> like she literally wants to smell this shit like that's how obsessed this bitch is about you and just it jealous all of, like a, a, a love hate relationship with herself and with you and like call yourself a fucking friend so y'all watch this hoe y'all watch this hoe energetic intuitive and connected and again that's that amethyst and the citrine all wrapped up in one so you getting a two for one special baby so you use both of those energies and you um collect and gather this situation together honey because I believe in you I definitely believe in you and it <laughs> Unwrap yourself from this. As your desires, it says desires and attractions. As your desires and attractions are coming to you, this person is attacking you because you're getting what you want from the universe. Ain't that something? Ain't that motherfucking something? People need to find something better to do with their goddamn life. Okay, hello, how you doing? How are you doing? All right, group number three would it be if you picked this stone right here? If you picked this stone, all right? This is the throat chakra stone. If you pick this crystal, this reading is for you. I hope that you guys are able to see well because it's getting darker. Let me go turn this light on over here, y'all. I hope that that is better. All right, so let's see. Um... Let's see what's going on and uh, what this person's attentions is with you. Because, you know, when I pull these decks, y'all, I really go into it blind because I don't know what's going to come out. The last group, it was not. It gave information about love, but it more so gave information about the intentions of someone else around them as well as the intentions of someone with love so let's just see what's popping off and see if uh, this is a love based energy okay so let's put the juicy Lucy cards over to the side ooh, ooh. <laughs> I'm gonna put that down I don't even want you to see that yet cause now that's making me care I wanna know what's over here good Lord T. All right, so let's pop this off. Let's start with the T ye ye, cause you know me ye ye. Let's get with the T ye ye, cause you know me ye ye. So the big T card here is you got the dolphin. You got playfulness and cooperation. All right. So the person just wants to have a good time. I like that. Let's see what is this. This is the bumblebee jasper oracle card. All right, so it says pollination. Oh, pollination. Mm, this person want to pollinate you. Real boy. Oh, you bet. Oh, oh, that don't sound like it going to have no protection, girl. That don't. Mm -mm. Oh, this. Oh, oh, you nasty. Oh, they say they want to pollinate you, girl. Oh, willpower and new ideas. Come on now. It says singing like a bee, 
Bumblebee Jasper enhances creativity and helps to pollinate ideas to bring them to life. This stone gives off a fighting spirit having been formed in a volcano and concentrating a storm of earthy energy that connects with the willpower of the solar plexus. Bumblebee Jasper also assists in alleviate, um, oh my goodness, alleviating allergies, soothing irritations, and nurturing one's overall health. Bumblebee Jasper encourages you to create a buzz, to let yourself be seen and heard for who you are and whatever new projects you are working on. Take pleasure in your gifts. This is the sun sign of Leo and the planet of the sun. All right. Bumblebee Jasper, y'all. Get into that. Get oh, you want to be pollinated. Oh, this person want to have a good time and wants to pollinate you. Ooh, ooh. You better watch yourself, god damn it. Alright. So what y'all got? Y'all got the fire pan, the frying pan, trouble and accusations. Lord, that's making ooh. You got the funnel. Periods of frustrations and lessons to be learned. Oh, Lord. See, this is why I stopped the last time. Because they was out there cutting grass and it was making too much damn noise. I hope y'all don't mind. Because I'm honestly not about to stop this video again. Anyway. We got the finger. Jesus! Okay, I'm about to come back. Jesus! Alright, you guys. I am back. It is... A new day <laughs> it is a new day sorry I had to take that little pause for a cause okay but let's get back into the tea so just off the rip I honestly don't even remember what was going on but just off of the energy that's on my table it's some foolishness going on it is some foolishness going on you got the frying pan the trouble and accusations the funnel, a period of frustration and lessons to be learned. And then the finger being pointed at you. A warning of a problem either now or in the near future. So let's see what else we got. And then we got the fox, y'all. We got the fox. Shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. We got a real clever, sneaky motherfucker around here. Let's see what else we got going on. We got the clouds, temporary problems. I don't promise you it's some bullshiggity. Like, what is going on? We got <clears throat> the gong and exciting events. We have the center energy of marriage. This is the astral house. So this is like a major arcana card. Versus all of the rest of the cards. So, y'all got marriage coming into y'all energy. And then y'all also got the vine. Seek information out that will help you. Remember, this stone has to do with pollination, willpower, and new ideas. It says it enhances your creativity and helps you pollinate ideas. So someone is jumping out of the fire pan into the fire. Someone here is being warned. There's some energy around you guys that is very sneaky. It's conniving. They're very cunning. It's something that they want from you. I feel like it's something that they're possibly envious about um, with this dolphin. I feel like you guys are like playing nice because you know dolphins run in groups. So it could be someone that is in type of friend group with you it's a temporary problem that is brewing and it has something to do with about your resources you being able to pollinate bring new blessings into your life and happiness because this card right here represents new life this is the sun to me whenever I see the sun I think of joy happiness playfulness um new birth things being revealed to you like your inner light and all of this stuff like that 
So for this playfulness and cooperation, something about your interactions with other people in a group setting is bothering somebody. Is bothering somebody. Hold on, you guys. I just need to take a quick glance at my phone real quick. I just need to see something. Because, baby. Okay. Let's keep going. You got the judgment card. Again, something is being revealed. Something is being brought out in the court of law. Some people are having to answer and justify certain actions in front of someone that you have to pay high honor to that is very high ranking it's like you can't sit there and lie to this person because they know the truth anyway and they just want to see if you're going to lie to them so that they could call your call you out and deal out your um your judgment in front of everybody it's like a lesson is being taught here so I don't know if it's like a situation that's being brought up in front of a boss, in front of like someone high ranking in some type of group or something like that. But they're about to get some type of issue straight and they're about to do some fact checking. For a matter of fact, I feel like they already did some fact checking. They're already aware of the problem. So like, and then my eyes automatically went out to the... Uh, to seek someone who can help you, this vine information. So this is someone very close to you because you know how to vine. It, it, it clings to... Okay, so hold on. Seek out information that will help you. I just heard it's someone clinging to a situation that won't let something go. And that's the problem. Someone else here is like <clears throat> enjoying themselves in social groups and social settings. And their intentions is to move on and to flourish. You know, to move their self up in the ranks. To be celebrated. To enjoy all of the hard work and the blessings and the reward that comes from their hard work like this person is going on about their way and their mind and their business like they're not focused on anything in the past they're just being very mature and trying to gravitate to what they should be moving towards they're not trying to stay stagnant okay I don't work well in this work group. There's a whole bunch of issues. There's a whole bunch of problems and arguments and stuff like that. I'm not going to stay stagnant there. I'm just going to continue to navigate and work with people where we progress, where we can work and have fun, where we see actual reward. It's like this person wants to be on a winning team. So it's like someone is upset because they're on a winning team. And I... Why am I, it's like I'm hearing out of the frying pan into the fire. It's like someone is kind of like pointing. It's like, I want to say like gossip or something like that. Somebody's intentions is to like ruin somebody else's um, reputation as they're transitioning from one group to another. You know, it was like a temporary, it was like a problem in their group. And they change their social settings and they're gossiping. Do you see what I'm saying with this fox and things? So they're going and they're putting your name in the ears of people that you haven't even reached yet just to make sure that they don't fuck with you. So it's like you don't want to do business with me. I'm a black boy. You gonna make sure that you can't do business anywhere else. And like they're pointing the blame of all of the issues that happen in their organization to you so they're just like you know don't let this person come on over there because they want to bring out they want to funnel a whole bunch of problems into your organization just like they did to mine look troubling accusations look i'm trying to tell you temporary problems it's an exciting event it could even this could even be about a relationship because you see that there's marriage here okay so in pollination what do bees do? They go around to different plants and they pollinate it so that they can grow. They um, 
move around, what is it, the uh, uh, pollen, I guess, whatever the fuck. So let me see what else this is. This is the Nine of Pentacles. I just, and again, I heard this person has many friends and is invited amongst many rooms of good company. This is someone that works towards slow growing success. They don't want anything to come fast to them. They like to work independently and they really work best alone. So I don't know why I'm kind of getting like, um, this is like more work related for me than anything, especially in regards to somebody's intention. So again, like I know a lot of people are coming in here looking for love, but we do have marriage on the card. So this could very much so be giving you guys a warning that like a true connection, a commitment, something with long term success long-term achievements long-term goals you know like once you put this ring on it's not coming off type of thing this type of thing is coming to you and there is somebody that is just like going around from flower to flower to flower to flower poisoning it you know what i'm saying like putting salt in the game so like when you try to come over there and bring your energy over there and do your work or whatever it is. Like I said, networking or even just you trying to receive this good new person that's coming to you. It's like your name already been out there in a negative aspect. And because you are alone a lot of the times, I want to say like you don't be outside a lot. Whoever this is, is a very independent, like very well structured person you have your routine you have your people that you can hang and chill with whenever you do poke your head out and you're not working and focusing on your own business and stuff like that you know exactly where you're going you go from point a point to point b so you really don't be all over the place so like i said whoever this is is getting to these rooms before you do they are putting information in people's ears and in their heart about you before they even realize that you're coming so by the time you do finally get there because like you see those turtles so you move slow you're not in any rush to get anywhere because you understand how precious time is and things like that and Again, you don't spread your energy all over the place like this other person. This person is just like really just trying to get ahead of the madness to try to stop you. It's like this person is trying to blackball you in the industry or something like that. Because it's not a pinnacle. You're successful in your own right. You see that snake right there? Like you're in steady movement of transformation you're constantly moving you're constantly growing you're constantly doing things that benefit you so if you completely wash this person out of your life it's because it did not benefit you and it was not helping the process of what you have going in rotation you're going to stop my flow and don't nothing stop my flow so you got to move the fuck around and this person got ghosted on. And that's why the fuck they got a problem right now. Because like I said, it's the Nine of Pentacles. You're alone. You're successful. And this person is having to deal with the fact that you rather be the fuck alone. And that you're better alone. And that you can do whatever it is that you've been doing with the what the fuck without them. And they're upset about it. And you're comfortable. And that's the thing. This person can never be comfortable alone. They feel like they need somebody to do a business interaction with them. They need someone to bounce ideas off. You don't need nobody to do shit. You be sitting in your house by your motherfucking self. Developing this shit by yourself. And when you come to the table, bitch. You coming to the table making big money moves. You a big stepper. You know? <laughs> you don't need nobody. Okay? And this person is up fucking sad because you are playful and you have a lot of cooperation when you come around people smile people love when your energy comes into the room you will respect it and well accept it in many places at many prosperous tables and this person is wishing that you your access is denied and like I don't I don't see that happening so let's see what else is going on here okay 
So we got the waiting. Oh, I just heard, you know, like how sometimes it's like someone's been put on pause because mm, it's judgment time. Like it's judgment day. It's judgment time. I just heard it's someone, it's like someone wants to see what you were going to do. It's the judgment call. You over here by yourself, it's, this, it's a separation. And someone has been put on pause. They've been waiting. Trying to see if they put the pressure on you. Like what type of results is going to come out of it. But everything that they're doing is going to backfire. That's honestly what I'm getting. And it's like this person is sitting there in their mind about... Okay, but well once this waiting period is over, shit gonna be like this. Because, like, people are so fucking ignorant. Let me see what else we got here. We got the Nine of Water. But I'm trying to tell you, you got the Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Water. Baby, I'm trying to tell you. Listen, baby, you are making a fucking splash. <laughs> you are making a fucking splash. Do you see all of that? You see that puddle of fucking water down there, girl? You are highly aroused. Like you are sensational. Say it with me. Sensational in my future voice. Sensational. <laughs> Girl. Okay. I am reloaded. Someone is understanding exactly why they got to like spend more time to themselves and do things on their own. The more that you spend time by your fucking self, you get more done and you are so sensational because you really don't have to sens sensationalize yourself. Other people do it for you. Do you? So it's like, it's something about you being free and clear right now. People are really like, They're gassing you up right now. People are talking about how good you look, how thick your thighs look. It's something about the way that you dress, the way that you've been carrying yourself. Um, Actually, I feel like you've been more expressive in, because you've been in this kind of singular setting. And you're learning how to go out by yourself and like network. You, you don't have anybody holding your hand anymore. You feel more confident. You feel more confident. You're learning how to be more social without anybody having to hold your hand. And because uh, sometimes like I'm very much so like that. Like I used to never go out by myself. I would never go to the bar by myself. I would always have to call someone but like, oh, you want to go with me? You want to do that? Nowadays, if I want to go to the bar, go get me a drink. Honey, I would, I would go put some clothes. I would go right the fuck on out there by myself. I would sit at the bar. I would find someone to talk to and just be having it the fuck up and I would meet new friends and I'd be like, when you be coming? You be coming all the time? And next thing you know, I don't got me a Thursday bar buddy. Thursday at 7 o'clock. What? They start karaoke at nine. What's popping? Okay, like we be just having a very good time. So, hmm. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, y'all got more cards in this deck. You got jealousy. Y'all did not fucking say. And, and if the fact that y'all got more cards than anybody else, it's just it's this message is screaming. It's like this person really can't take the fact that you rather be alone. And it's like they're waiting. And look, look at this person sitting up there waiting, eating ice cream. And this Look, that's not even ice cream, bitch. This bitch is eating Nutella straight out the fucking jar with a spoon. You big, fat, dusty whore. I'm so fucking sorry. That is so gluttonous and nasty. So, because you're sitting over there jealous, overzealous, because someone done moved on, they're more successful without you, they're more confident without you, 
you just sitting over there eating yourself to death, fantasizing about something that's never going to happen. I honestly don't think that um, this person that you, this person that we're reading about, whoever this single person is, you have no intentions on attaching yourself to anybody. Like, you're having an amazing time right now on your own. I don't see you going back to anything, attaching yourself to anybody. Because you see this vine right here? It's just someone that don't know how to let go. Hmm. Let me see what these last two cards are. You got the seven of pentacles and then you got the star. So yes, your intentions is very much so. I'm enjoy all of the options. I'm enjoy everything. It's like I'm I wouldn't even say you guys aren't confused about anything because sometimes like the seven of cups can mean it's someone that has so much shit going on right now. They don't know what the best option is. And right now I don't need to know what the option is for me. I'm the star. I'm shining right now. All of my wishes are coming to me. I'm glad I don't got nobody around while I'm receiving it. I could receive it for myself. I could receive it fully. I don't feel guilty about overindulging right now. I, I deserve to overindulge because guess what? If I got seven different cups in front of me, how am I going to know which one is the best for me if I don't taste it all? I'm not going to feel bad about tasting it all as long as I don't go around trying to drink all of the cups. Every drop out of all of the cups. I'm about to uh, dip my finger in. Mm -mm -mm, taste. Mm -mm. No, I don't like that. Next. No, but I'm definitely going to explore my options right now. So someone is jealous because, baby, you are exploring your options and you don't give a fuck about what no one got to say about it. <laughs> what? What? Honey, you are basking in milk and honey right now. You are exploring your body. You are exploring your sexuality. You are enjoying every single gift that these people that are coming into your life have to offer to you. Because if I don't try it, I don't know what I want. I know that I tried whatever this was and I don't want it no more. So if I've been praying to God and I've been asking him to give me other opportunities and it's being offered to me right now, well, you motherfucker right, I'm going to receive Anybody that got a problem about it, you can sit on a sideline and deal with your own issues by your fucking self. Because guess what? When I was going through what the fuck I was going through, I had to do this shit and I had to come up by my motherfucking self. Okay? So, I don't... Whoever this is waiting... Whoever this is that has this jealousy issues and stuff because group number three is going around pollinating. And again, I'm kind of feeling like this person is mad that group number three has a lot of options and they are exploring the options. It's like, especially like in regards to, like to this marriage card, this person is scared that... All of these people that you're going around, having all of these dates with and stuff. Number one, in their mind, they're thinking, number one, they're sitting back jealous, thinking like, oh, this person is having sex with all these people. You're like, you're being a fucking whore. Like, they're going around doing all of this nasty shit. They're thinking about all the nasty shit that you used to do with them, that you doing that and them some, sitting back eating on them some. Like, you dating all these exotic niggas. Like, you don't even date black dudes. Like, now you dating black dudes. You dating Chinese dudes. You motherfucker, right? I'm dating all the different nationalities. You goddamn, this is United Colors of Benetton, bitch. Back it up. Fuck you talking about, okay? Bitch, I am reloaded. Fuck is you talking about? I'm gonna taste this choice out here. You better get the fuck on and stop goddamn hating. Listen, this motherfucker is hating. Look, this motherfucker be coming in spaces and they be bringing your name up like, oh yeah, Olivia. Doesn't that be like, oh shit, I well, Olivia for motherfucker um, Bankhead? 
with the pretty eyes. Oh yeah, oh no, I know Olivia, Olivia, oh yeah, like I've been trying to get, yeah, I can't wait until look like, anytime Olivia to blink an eye at me, I'm on her. Oh, the fuck? No, Olivia, that bitch is a whore because I heard that she was out there, motherfucking. she be talking about, I, I, she was all under that goddamn young Miami post, how she like golden showers and shit. Oh, well, shit, I'm all about that shit, look, fuck that, I love a bitch that's goddamn look bold about her shit, shit, she ain't ashamed about, I like I like that shit, fuck, I ain't in the golden showers, but shit, I like a bitch that's confident, I like a bitch that's confident, oh, uh, what, so what, you like dating a whore, you like dating a whore, I'm trying to tell you, have an hour later, that bitch is gonna be a motherfucker problem, I'm trying to tell you, don't fuck with that bitch Olivia, man, I'm trying to tell you, this is net. look, just trying to funnel a whole bunch of shady ass shit into your fucking blessings, like, they trying to let anybody know that has any type of interest in you, that want to do any business with you, that it's a bad decision. Don't do that. I'm letting you know. If you think you're in a bad situation, you you gonna be in even worse when you gonna be jumping out of the fry pan into the fire with that bitch. Don't fuck with Olivia from Bankhead with the pretty eyes and the thick thighs. Like, mm-mm. Y'all. This person is scared that Cause I'm trying to tell you, and they know how wet that pussy be, and they know how good you be cooking, how good you be looking, and it's something about how free you are, especially sexually and expressing yourself, and something tells me that you are funny as shit, it's something about your conversation, your conversation, you the type of person, someone can really sit around you and talk to you for hours and hours and hours and like y'all just be having drinks cocktails and conversations and just like we'll get lost in time with each other and this person know that know that this person is scared of the connections that will come to you if you just out freely that's why they trying to tarnish your shit so let's see let's get into this and let's let's wrap this up oh right off the bat don't take them back group three i told listen this was the first card that i seen when i separated the deck so i knew it was going to be some bullshit that was going on in this pile right here and the fact that i completely forgot that y'all had more cards than anybody else group three whoever this is you are the person i'm reading for have no intentions. You are enjoying yourself too much. Have no intentions of taking this person back. So I, I, I believe you. It's judgment time. You're not taking this person back. You done seen this person for their works. God is giving you free passage to move on and enjoy your life. And develop yourself. And explore new options. And that's exactly what you're doing. And you're very responsible. And listen, you want to enjoy the fruits of your goddamn labor. Okay? Don't take them back. Do not take them back. Excuse me, y'all. It says you are he fucking hilarious. I told you. You guys are a key key, especially in the bar scene. Y'all be having people at the bar cracked the fuck up people really enjoy your energy i'm serious it's something about on the weekends when you go out you be having a splashing good time by yourself like you literally do go by yourself like you have all your little crew y'all call and y'all meet each other up at the bar <laughs> like you are having such a good social time this spring in the summer this group three would it be what does it says it says sleeping with someone on the side hmm. it says are are they happy with you no whoa Whoa, don't take them back. You are fucking hilarious. They're not happy with you and they're sleeping with something else on the side. It says, ugh, I can't believe I caught 
feelings. Oh, the next card is love at first sight. So this person is upset because they think, not that they think, they know that they caught feelings for you too fast. They fell in love with you at first sight. They know that you're not happy with them. They know that you're sleeping with someone else. They think this whole situation is hilarious and they know that you're not going back to them. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, this shit is like real fucking funny to them. It's like, I can't even like really believe this shit is how, you know, like how some traumatizing shit be going on to people and they just, they can't help but laugh. Like, I just can't even fucking believe this shit. Like, that's what's going on here. And whoever, whoever this is that needs to hear this. That, like, can't let somebody go. That can't let this person go. This person has no intentions on coming back. Like, it says, when you make it effortless, it lasts forever. So, it's somebody else that they have met. One of these new options is effortless. It's not a whole lot of in-depth conversation. It just is what it is. Like, they just enjoy each other. Free and clear. This person really doesn't want to be tied down or want to have limitless or wants to have they want to have limitless options right now. Ooh, and then this says warning. This may lead to a fight. Ooh. guys like this is crazy so someone is very upset that someone else has gone off free and clear and is pollinating the rest of the world they're exploring their options they have no intentions of going back there's somebody that's sitting there waiting that's jealous and even though we don't have any spy cards out here, I really do feel like they're watching like their social media and stuff like that. This could even be somebody that's relatively new to try to have like a whole lot of like um history with each other. And this could be a business situation too. This could be a job situation too. It's like someone is trying to get ahead of you because they're upset that you did not develop this type of connection with them. It's like, why not me? Because I I I wanna be single. I wanna explore. I don't wanna I wasn't happy. I wasn't happy with you. And it's like just the way that this person is going about things. They already know not to go back to your ass. And hidden in the background, this person is starting a whole bunch of bullshit. Trying to cause issue with this person going forward and being happy. Not even knowing that the shit that you're doing this shit is about to cause an fisticuff. Like, someone's going to end up getting into a fucking fight. Because I'm trying to tell you, when this person pull up and they realize, like, they just trying to go and be the star that they are. And it's a whole bunch of gossip being funneled to them. Like, information is going to be funneled into this person. Like, you know so-and-so been coming around here talking about you. They've been saying, woo, 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 blah, 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 that you be talking about golden showers and a whole bunch of shit. You be fucking with all these different people and that you was moving around like this. Listen, you just trying to go to an exciting event. This gong is like, you go out at the same, the same day of the week at the same time. 
And it's like someone's trying to destroy someone's reputation. Playfulness and cooperation. This group setting. Someone is trying to tarnish your reputation. And the reason why you are the star in this rep in, in this group right here is because these people make it easy. You understand? Everybody just chill and vibe. It's not a whole bunch of stress and things. These are all independent workers that come together in a group setting just to have fun and network and to share ideas with each other. You understand what I'm saying? But these are all independent workers. So I'm getting two different messages. Is someone trying to destroy somebody's reputation in a group setting with a group of people that has built their success over time? You are newcomer to this group, but you are a socialite. You are like the bee's knees. You be having shit popping. And this person don't like it. But you accept it in this group. If you're single. If you're newly single. Or if you are. Like I said. If you're just single and you're dating. And you met someone new. And things were cool. But things didn't work out. You were not happy with them. You were sleeping with people on the other side. People think that you were fun. That you were hilarious. You were not happy with that person that you were dealing with. You need someone that the person that you want to end up being with for every step infinity sign with is someone that makes the connection just effortless and fucking easy. Okay? This is fucking crazy. Y'all in group three, y'all let me know what is going down. Because I know y'all going to let me know what the fuck is popping down in the goddamn comments. Y'all let me know if y'all pick group three, if this resonated with y'all either now or later. Because I feel like whoever this is, don't even necessarily know that this is happening. That's why I'm saying this warning, this may lead to a fight. When you find out that this motherfucker has been going around... Spreading gossip and just been having your name all fucked up out here. You are going to fucking explode, bitch. I'm letting you know now. So y'all let me know what the fuck is going on. I love y'all. I see y'all later. Peace.